that's life these days, isn't it? We're all too busy doing this, that and the other. But one day life's going to stop and what have we done within that life? If we haven't progressed or done anything with it, we might have regrets towards the end. So that's, I guess, what I would say. My advice to people would be, if they're too busy, they're probably already learning and they probably don't need to do much other learning. My main concern would be people who are not busy. Um, I think if someone really wants to go back to a learning environment, um, they'll do it um, or they'll find time for it no matter what. Well, for people who really want to get involved in learning, um, time is pressing for a lot of people, um, but there are so many opportunities to do things in smaller chunks, um, part-time, um, just doing small competencies sometimes, maybe not a full, a full uh, course. Um, there are many options these days. I suppose it's always easy to say we're all very busy, but if it's an important thing to you, you can always make time. It doesn't necessarily require a great commitment of time either to get back into learning, and there are usually lots of facilities in everyone's local environment, and there are lots of different ways of learning, whether it's through libraries, formal courses, uh, the internet, or, or some other means that suits people. Well, I guess finding the time is something that is in everyone's mind. It's always a problem for everybody. But the truth is this, if the demand is there and the determination is there, I'm sure they can make the time for themselves. The nice thing about uh, adult education is that convenience is one of the big things that they have available to them. There's so many places where they can access ad adult education. To re-engage with learning, you need to pick something that's immediate, that you need to learn about or that you want to learn about, and um, build from your needs now. Making time for oneself really is something that is important and again when I think you are more mature um, I think we do recognise that. Um, it helps us to grow as a person so I think it is incredibly important. Make the time, have the confidence to do that. Learning is not about time served now but more about the engagement and the value of the time that you're spending with the activity. There are many options available um, so it's, it's not restrictive and it's not about sitting in a classroom anymore. If you really want to learn something badly enough you'll find the time. So what other, what less useful things in your life should you give up? Give away the useless stuff and do the thing that, you really, that really needs to be done. Make a priority. Look, as somebody who works in an e-learning environment, I would encourage them to look for um, e-learning alternatives if they cannot come to face-to-face. -to -face. A whole range of ACE providers now provide opportunities for adults to learn anytime, any place. Everybody should think about the future. And again, the future is not going to wait for you, so therefore you've got to reorganise your life and say, right, a certain amount of time I'm going to look ahead, I'm going to learn something new. One of my old friends uh, was a Methodist minister. He didn't have enough money to engage a, a secretary, so he used to get up half an hour early every day and taught himself to touch type. And that's the sort of uh, program that all of us need to undertake, whatever it is. If there's something we don't know, make the time and have a go find the time. We've all got a little bit of time. Busy people are always busy, always, always time to learn.